when you focus on the breath. Pay careful attention. This is one of the bases for success. Jitta means being really intent on what you're doing. You're not just going through the motions. You commit yourself to doing this, and then you reflect on what you're doing and seeing if it goes well. If it's not going well, then you can ask yourself, what might be going wrong? And this is where the meditation becomes your own, when you use your own powers of observation to see what's, what's what, what's good, what's not good. It's like learning a language. They can teach you a lot in school, but when you go out into the country where that language is spoken and you begin to notice, oh, when they say this, this is what they mean, and when they say that, that's what they mean. You learn how to read the situation. And without anybody having to tell you what the words mean, you figure that out. And it's in figuring things out that the meditation becomes yours. So you pay careful attention, and then you use your powers of observation, reflection, to see what could go better. Because if we just do things that we're told to do, but without making them ours, then it doesn't have much effect. It's like Something, a cream you put on your skin, but doesn't go into the skin. It just rubs right off. But if you use your powers of observation, you begin to see, oh, this means that, and that means this, this is good, that's good. When you do this, you get these results, and then when you do that, you have to do something else afterwards. You figure this out on your own. You remember that a lot more, for a lot longer time. And then you begin to get more interested in observing things, which is what the meditation is all about, is observing what's going on in your mind. As the Buddha said, we suffer because we do things in ignorance. And ignorance is not simply not knowing about what's going on in your mind. You can listen to the words, and in about a half, half an hour you can get the basic teachings down. But as John Lee says, you can, to really understand one of those teachings, in practice sometimes takes years. So be willing to put in some time and use your own powers of observation, because that kind of knowledge goes deep, really can make a difference in the mind.